Hey, what's up? Chanel, welcome to a new year-end episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we have the top six black metal releases of 2021. Now, I do not have the new Stormkeep album, obviously, so that cannot be brought in here. Although I'm sure it probably will make that list, though, when I get to hear it because it just alone, you know, blew me the fuck away. And we're going to be blasting Little Turtles War by Pan American Native Front, one of the bigger names you're going to hear this year in the black metal underground. And just an amazing reissue on cassette because this shit sold out fast and... This is the Stygian Black Hand cassette version. And I'm just extremely happy to even have a copy of this. But this is also in the albums of the year list, which also includes some splits and an EP. And this EP just came into my life, but I can't get over how fucking good it is. But for now, we are blasting Pan American Native Front, Little Turtles War. But first up, we'll go over the newest release here that I personally received, and that's that Void of Melancholy EP on Born for Burning, limited to 130 copies of absolutely amazing Finnish black metal. Holy fuck, is this good. I mean, the cover alone just sums up what you're getting yourself into here. Void of Melancholy is just exactly what you want to expect when it comes to just, you know, that type of like isolated, icy black metal from Scandinavia. It's very hard to explain, but... You know, the logo to me just gives away, like, so much of what you're about to get into, like... I'm not sure which artist did this, but, like, I, I've seen very similar logos before, and it just kind of, you know, gave me a, a little heads up, like, this is gonna be something cool, and it really fucking was. So, thank you, Isaac, Born for Burning Records, and Void of Melancholy from Finland. Check this the fuck out, seriously. You get three tracks, Devastating Nostalgia, which is what they probably should have called Ghostbusters Afterlife. One with Frost and Winged Dream, all recorded during summer 2021. And I know this should be full length, but like I said, I kind of, you, you'll see when you get to the end of my list here uh, it's a lot of splits but next up on dark descent records not 100 percent black metal but it had more black metal than it had death metal in it in my opinion and that's forked tongues by craven idol on dark descent records this is absolutely amazing Pretty sure the LP is sold out and will not be reissued anytime soon. So grab a copy of this on any format possible. It's fucking amazing. I mean, the cover alone just brought me back to Bathory and that put a smile on my face. But very Bloodfire death ish. But this is just so good. Like, I never really got into Craven Idol until this release right here. And thank you, Matt, at Dark Descent. Because like, this just appeared in one of my packages along with the uh, Gorophilia, the Eye of Nothing cassette. So I appreciate the fuck out of this, but like, it's cool. You get side forked and side tongues. Really nice, clear shell. I love the fucking, like, blue font. And like I said, this probably looks gorgeous on vinyl. 
And it sounds fuck. It's so. This is so vicious and just a gnarly. I hate the term epic, but this is you know an epic release. Like it's very very well written. It, it's just it's it's a huge recording, and you know that's what you should expect from one of Dark Descent Records. You know biggest bands, Craven Idol. Next up, we have one of two splits, and this was a hard decision, so. We have Eclipsing, Honor, and Decay split with Commodious and Valak. Appalachian Noise Records. Fuck yes. This is, oh man. So good. Commodious had another amazing year, but um, Valak also, but this just, it, it's so fucking good. Like, it sounds great on wax, and it's just an incredible release. Like, Commodious, like, for real, has not put out anything remotely even mediocre yet and Valak just kills also but it's cool having like you know both of these bands working together and the way it should be like plain black vinyl you have side B for Valak and side K for Commodious amazing release Appalachian Noise has some uh, new Luciferian rights up. Go grab that shit. Support them. I think they might be closing their doors soon. So help Appalachian Noise Records clear out stock and stuff. I know they have like that Zatzer split with um, that Dungeon Synth band. Fuck. Casket Dreams, I think. I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank on that. But this, yeah, again, you have two of the most prolific one-man black metal acts in the game right now. You put them together on a split, you're going to get some magic, and that's exactly what you get. But two originals and cover songs. You get Dethroned Emperor by Commodious, which is a great cover, and a Leviathan cover from Valak. Which is still a good cover. I, I just thought it was a weird choice when I first got this. I was like, oh, like, that's... I don't know. Nothing wrong with choosing a Leviathan song. I'm just saying. I, 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 I would have chose differently. Next up, my buddy in Salem. You knew this was going to make the list. The Realms... Sophomore full length. Fuck. Yes, we have action at a distance. Inside the temple of absolute human suffering. I took part in... Um, oh my god, what is the name of it? Fuck. Ah, this sucks. I don't want to ruin this video right here. Pretty much like a treasure hunt type deal to get a special sneak peek at this release and you had to complete certain tasks and whatnot. A scavenger hunt, there. And um, when you completed the scavenger hunt, you sent your stuff back to uh, Bathar in Salem, Oregon, and you got a VHS tape that had the new single on it, along with like a patch, with like the new sigil and everything. Lyrics. Stickers. A nice little uh, like write up of Realms is Vathar. And it goes over everything. Become the soul of winter. And yeah. This is such a cool way to show off your new single, and that's what I mean, like, it was so worth 
doing the scavenger hunt to get the VHS tape and whatnot, and then, you know, I might ask Vathar if it's okay if I post this on YouTube, but I don't know. That's something that it's not up to me. If it was up to me, I would post it for you guys, but it's not my, you know, it's not mine. But I like this. This copy belongs to Adam. That's a spider hole. Action at a distance inside the temple of absolute human suffering. This copy belongs to Adam. And I have this on cassette too, but I grabbed the LP version out because I know this means a lot to Vathar. I know this means a lot to Grace on Records. And it's a gorgeous fucking release. Like, legit. Look at this thing. This, like, translucent smoke spectral gray. I don't know what they call it. I'm not sure if this is sold out or not, but like, yeah. If it wasn't on black vinyl, this is the next best thing in my opinion. If not, this is better than black vinyl. For a band like Realms, kind of like Cemetery Dirt, like it just fucking looks so goddamn cool. And especially, you know, you got the Grey Sun logo on that side. Like, this is, you know, a, a real labor of love right here and a love of black metal. And, you know, nothing but respect for the Salem, Oregon crew. The true haunt. Nate at, uh, everybody. Perthero, Vathar. It's just such a gnarly fucking scene. And I think... Matt might be moving back out there. I'm, I'm not sure, actually. But there's so much cool stuff in here. That's what I mean. This is a total labor of love. Very, like, heavy-duty paper. And there's the Thar chilling. Tells you which goddess the album's dedicated to. You get lyrics, which I was honestly very, very stoked. Like, the fact that the lyrics were printed. Because I, I just, I knew how interesting the subject matters were and whatnot. This was mastered by MSW, who absolutely nailed it. Like, he kills it on here. The production's great. It just sounds dialed, and... When it comes to raw black metal, you can't really go wrong with, like, realms. Haunt is just as gnarly and whatnot. They have their own sound and their own vibe. And I'm a big fan of just, you know, the whole entire vibe and whatnot realms brings to the black metal table. Especially stateside, because, like, to me, this is, like, the real deal underground black metal stuff. You know, you're not going to be really seeing this in any magazine or anything like that. Like, if you don't know, then you kind of have to know. You can't go and listen to this digitally and make up your mind. Like, you kind of just have to take my word. Like, hey, trust me, if you like your black metal raw and real, and when I say real, trust me, real. Like, this isn't bullshit. So... Just keep that in mind. This is an amazing release, and thank you to Vathar and Grey Sun Recordings. But, like, even if I wasn't already cool with those people, like, this is top shelf black metal if you're a fan of the raw variety of black metal. Now, we have a split with Commodious and Pan American Native Front, Immortal Ceremonies. Again, just absolutely, it's a fucking dream. Like, it's such a good fucking release. It's everything you could possibly want when it comes to this style of black metal. And 
Pan American Native Front to begin with is one of those black metal bands that just it's a grand slam for the curator of Warp even if he doesn't know it like it's absolutely amazing you know what diving into the history of Native American culture and whatnot can bring out in music it, it was very very just something I instantly latched on to I found it very just intriguing for one and just the music was amazing so like making a split with Commodious who already you know was just knocking down like knocking fucking heads off it's just something that you know it's special this is a release that to me you know it represents like what I really love about black metal and that's just like some of those riffs that just let you know make the hair on the back of your neck stand up and just give you that vibe and this gives you a vibe of both bands like just extremely well and the music here is dedicated to Tom Hill the Lenape Mountain Man. Where I live is actually Lenny Lenape Native American land. Like back in the day, that's who, you know, lived in my area. So like when I hear this music, and don't get me wrong, the commodious side of things, like I said, it's fucking absolutely ridiculous, fan-fucking-tastic, but Together, Immortal Ceremonies is an essential piece of black metal. You need this in 2021, in my opinion. Alongside this, this is a great companion. And my black metal album of the year is an even better companion to those. That's what we're blasting. Little Turtles War by Pan American Native Front. Hails to the curator of war. Wow. Just wow. And I did not hear the new Panopticon, so I don't like, I'm sorry, I did not hear it. But wow. I did hear Little Turtles War multiple fucking times. I love this so much. Again, in every way, in solidarity, in war. All instruments and lyrics written by the curator of war. It's just an absolute, just fantastic listen from front to back. Absolutely essential listening. Like, hands fucking down. You cannot go wrong here. Pan American Native Front, Little Turtles War, Nuclear War Now, did vinyl reissues, so they still might have copies available. When it comes to the cassette reissues, these might be long gone. But if they're not, holy shit, go get this right fucking now and thank me later. Like, for real. If this is a blind buy, make it be a blind buy because you will be beyond thankful. Both full lengths were reissued, like, this year on Nuclear War Now. Like, uh... This got reissued on NWN, so you wouldn't have to spend your life on a reissue. But, like, yeah, this on vinyl. Black Metal was very expensive this year, I'll put it that way. If you were a fan of Black Metal, yeah, it was, ver it was a very expensive year when it comes to vinyl. Like, because a lot of this shit, you know, was imports... But I'm lucky enough that I have certain friends and shit in high places. <laughs> Especially with this one. Like, this was something I legit, like, I just wrote off. I was like, ah, there's no way I'm going to be able to score this. And here it is. And I fucking love it. It's, like, one of my favorites. Like I said, you know, this year belongs to, like, split releases but at the same time, I, I just feel like this stole the show. The hype is real.
Like, it is. It's fucking fantastic. Because I remember everybody talking about it. And, um... As soon as I heard it, it was one of those albums that just instantly... I was like, how did I not hear this before? <laughs> like, how did I not know of this band's first release? Because I didn't. I didn't know about it until recently. But... They're split with Commodious. Like, they came up twice on this list. The Curator of War, like I said, no fucking joke. The dude kills it. And that's my black metal list for 2021. I know I might have been missing a few, but that's the way it is. I also chose Stress Angel as a death metal record and just my album of the year in general. So... That's why I didn't show that in this video, because to me that's a death metal album. But at the end of the day, it's all a matter of opinion. But my opinion stands that, you know, it was a pretty good year in my opinion for black metal. It just depends on what type of black metal you really like. And I'm not, trust me, I'm not adding like... Bestial Black Death here. This is not Bestial. There's no war metal releases here. I kind of, if it was, this would be a different list. But this is just kind of straightforward black metal. But a lot of it is very raw and just, it's awesome. Like, I'm very happy with this year's black metal list. I think everything on it, there's something for everybody that watches this channel, I feel. I think, like, you folks that, if, like, if you've never heard Commodious, if you've never heard Realms, if you've never heard Craven Idol, if you've never heard Pan American Native Front, and especially Void of Melancholy, like, this really, really just got my attention. And like I said, I know this is not a full length, but still, it's a black metal release, and it really got my attention. And that's all that really matters here. But, very, very proud of Vathar from Realms, and I'm just super fucking stoked to be able to share this stuff with you, ladies and gentlemen. So, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails. Lord.